your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Sponsored by West Tech Foundation Repair. Well, we've seen plenty of sunshine across our area today, and we're going to see more of that as we roll into the weekend. Things turn warm as well as we roll through the weekend. A few showers possible as we roll in the next week. And next week, we'll see another front move through late in the week. Thinking about Thursday time frame for that. It is going to turn really cold behind that front next Thursday, so get ready for that. We're dropping below freezing once again as we go later into next week. 35 right now at a Memphis Field. Humidity is at 48%. Winds are on the southwest at 5 miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 30.51 inches and rising under clear conditions. Temperatures across the region 32 in Sterling City, 35 in Barnhart, 42 in El Dorado, 27 already in Menard. 32 over in Brady, 29 in Eden. So we're all starting to fall into those lower 30s and upper 20s. Maybe you're getting away this weekend going across the Lone Star State. Looks pretty nice on Saturday. Temperatures in the 60s and some 50s. Galveston at 59. Plenty of sunshine and smooth sailing if you're traveling I-20 or I-10 across the state on Saturday. Sand story on Sunday with temperatures climbing into the low 70s from San Antonio to Houston to Austin. Plenty of sunshine to go around daytime highs over the next five days we are going to start to climb into those 70s as we go through the weekend we'll be in the low 70s all the way through tuesday then we drop into the 60s on wednesday i think 62 may be a little bit on the cooler side but we will see temperatures close to 65 for daytime highs on wednesday and that's because cloud cover is going to start to build back in ahead of our next front right now across the lower 48 not a whole lot going on in our part of the country, but off towards the east, seeing a nor'easter starting to form, seeing quite a bit of snow across the eastern half of the United States today, and already starting to see bands of snow into the northeast. They're expecting to get several inches, if not feet of snow across portions of the northeast. Here, things are quiet across the Lone Star State, and that's the way it's going to stay as we roll through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Things are going to remain quiet except for Monday. We've got an upper level low that's going to move across our area, and in doing so, it's going to bring us a chance for a few rain showers early Monday morning. This is 5 o'clock Monday morning, so we can see a few showers popping up across our region early on Monday morning. After that, that clears out, and then we'll watch for our next front to move through the area next Wednesday, Thursday time frame. This is going to start to push through, and behind the front, there's still some questions about do we have any moisture lingering behind the front, and how quickly does the cold air move in? Could we see a transition to some wintry weather across our area? Highs are going to be in the 30s on Thursday, so that's something we're going to have to watch as we go towards the end of next week. Otherwise, Next weekend, more sunshine in store as we roll towards next Saturday. Tonight, we'll drop to around 26, clear and cold conditions. Winds out of the west at around 5 miles an hour. And then for our Saturday, we'll top out near 66. Under sunny and warm conditions, those winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. As far as the next five days, this is what to expect. A beautiful and warm weekend for us. We'll continue to see highs in the 70s through Tuesday. Wednesday brings a little more cloud cover and a chance for a few showers ahead of our front. And then we'll see another chance for some light rain or even some wintry mix. We'll watch that closely as we get closer to next Thursday. Highs generally in the 30s and 40s to end next week. We'll be back with more KCN News right after this.